This was in case you didn't get enough ragweed this year. Next to a field, in the shadows of a wooded ridge, beneath some cold, clear water. That looks like your magic rock right here. Lives a mysterious creature. You never know what you're going to find. Rarely seen, but a local legend. There's Barbie oh, right, right here, right, right here. here. Right, here. Right, here. right towards Glenn, coming right towards Glenn. <laughs> yes, oh, okay. yes. Very nice. What's intriguing these researchers from the state and the Nashville Zoo. Look at the red. That's awesome. On that rostrum. Beautiful. Is a crayfish that grows to be the largest of its kind in North America. Not this individual. They're going to get much bigger than this. She's still pretty, pretty young. Known scientifically as Barbie Camberis, it's called a crayfish, or crawfish, or even a mud bug, and found only in this remote sliver of southern Tennessee and Kentucky. Longfork Creek runs through uh, most of the north part of Macon County. It comes between uh, Lafayette and Red Bull and Springs. Here he is. Oh, got it. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. Oh my Looky God. there. Yep. Ooh, that's beautiful, man. Legend has it that Barbie was discovered in the 1880s, but not seen again to the 1960s, when a researcher stumbled across two young boys who told him not about crayfish living in the creek nearby, but animals that appeared to be lobsters. It's easy to see why. Yeah, look at the size of that claw. Well, you don't want to get your fingers caught in that thing. David Withers, Glenn Rohrbach, and crew have discovered the biggest crayfish they've they ever seen. Man, that is awesome. For me, it's like being a kid all over again. To, to see something this large and this ancient that still lives in a part of our state that most people, at least people in the cities, rarely get to see. This is an absolute treat. But to those who live around here, Barbie is like an old friend. Damn, before I didn't know that it was bit that exciting, you know, to just have them when you've been around them before. But gentlemen look like they've had a big time finding some today. The difference, of course, is while most of these men have seen Barbie before, What's that? that's a young, that's a young Barbie. They're always that. intrigued and impressed when they see it yep. again. Yep. Get out! Yep. Get out! Oh my gosh! Yeah. I'll be darned! A little girl. Oh, little girl. Oh, they're drop dead gorgeous. And they, you know, that since they live predominantly under large slab rock, they are, they're in a habitat that we often don't sample and we rarely get to see them. So if you saw today when the, the Nashville Zoo came out with those log lifters, it took a crew to get under some of the rocks where these things live. What compels these otherwise intelligent men to wade in a creek on a cold day? Oh my gosh, I'm insane is not only a scientific interest in a unique animal, All right. but the eternal quest for what's under the next rock. Important safety tip, Dave, don't, don't lean on the rock. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen, Canberra striatus. What's that? Or connect these Putnamai, or connect these Dorelli. With 85 or so crayfish species in Tennessee, there's still much to learn. Today we found seven different, seven different crayfish species, two of which only occur in the Barren River watershed, five of which are known from other parts of the state as well. But sometimes you really do find what you're looking for, and this was one of those days. Barbie Camberis, the giant of crayfish. I'm Alan Griggs on Tennessee's Wild Side. Thank you.